Hey guys, this is Matt, and today I'm going to be wrapping up our tower defense tutorial series. So I really just want to go over some of the few changes that we made to the game before we released, and uh, then also just a couple of uh, things that I thought we did well, and uh, some of the things that uh, we need some improvement on. Uh, some you know something to to get us started in the next game. So right away we have a uh, we have a very very bare bones uh, main menu. This could obviously be improved. Uh, I I like the parallaxing effect from one uh, from one area to another. That's something that we might uh, bring back and something later. We added a tutorial button just to give a, a quick overview of how to play the game. Uh, this could be a lot better. I'm really not a big fan of having these slideshow types of tutorials. I think a, a much better way to do a tutorial would be to uh, integrate it into the gameplay itself. So that's something to keep in mind as, as we move forward. And going into the game, we have a uh, we have a little tower spire here, fiery spire, that indicates where the enemies are going to be traveling to. I would have liked to have something over in this corner to show where the enemies are spawning from, but uh, we didn't we didn't I didn't really find any graphics that I liked for that. And you see, whenever these enemies die, that uh, you have a little plus two, plus two. Uh, these spiders should give you a plus three, so that's it's all scaling. We did a lot of um, a lot of balancing before we released it to make sure that it was uh, not too easy, not too hard. Uh, let's see. I really liked this graphical interface. Minus ones. Uh, I like that the you get to see what wave is coming up next through this. It's very colorful. You also get a pretty good idea uh, of what towers you have to select. And also, uh, you know, an options and send waves button. I think we're integrated pretty nicely. Options uh, could have a few more things on it, but that's okay. One thing that I think would have been better is if we could have displayed the stats of the turrets, you know, a name of what these upgrades do of what they are and what they do. Uh, that would have been good. We had uh, a lot of confusion whenever we showed this to people. Uh, you know, they didn't know what these what these towers could do or, or anything. So that's something to consider. We need to uh, somehow display information to the user uh, in a concise manner. But that's about it. Uh, I we did uh, in this throughout this tutorial. We did have a lot of things that were done uh, that were not covered in the series. So if you have any questions, just uh, put a link in the comments or uh, something, and we'll uh, try to answer that. And we also have our source code to this game uh, on Git. So I'll have a link down in the description, and you can go and take a look at that and browse through what we have. And so we're going to be starting a new game. We plan on doing a shooter on rails, similar to uh, Star Fox. It's going to be targeted at uh, mobile devices like this one. Uh, but instead of using uh, controllers, you know, a controller like a uh, little joystick over here to control the, the, the ship movement, we plan on using the gyroscope of the device in order to move the ship left, right, and adjust the altitude. So that's a, that's a neat feature that I think uh, could be popular and it'll definitely be fun to learn how to do that with, with other, other devices. So like I said, have any questions about anything that you see here, just leave a comment and we'll try to uh, get back with you. All right, thanks guys.